All right, so here I have the iPad mapped to uh, propeller head record controlling a reed drum, and I've set up a MPC style pad matrix, uh, some transport controls and some effects and controls. So I've got the drums mapped out here using the kickback sample set. The effects on, here's a delay and a and kind of a tape dub delay. Then the transport controls, stop, play, metronome, record, dub lane and delete clip. Now you'll see how this all works uh, when I get everything going here. It's a little tricky, but I've got this thing set up so that uh, I have a two measure loop going. I've enabled quantized notes during recording. In order for this to work perfectly, you have to have the sequencer track in focus. Now velocity is controlled with this slider. I'll hit record. You'll see the track starts recording. Now say I don't like that clip, I can just go press delete clip and it's gone. We'll go back and track that again. Then let's go to a new track. Now I've got a special version of Cycle On mapped to these two buttons and rotary controls here.
So what surprises me the most about this is how responsive the iPad is as a control surface. While there's a little bit of latency, it's virtually unnoticeable and really makes an effective control input device. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.